Friday, December 11th, the moon will be in Scorpio all day, which means that, you know what, we're hypersensitive. We might put on a good mask and hide our feelings, but we are all up in our feels in our inner realms. We are diving into the depths of our emotional and psychological awareness. We are trying to connect the dots of some of the past pains and struggles and basically figure out how we can move past it and never look back ever again. And there's a couple of aspects taking place on Friday that is going to really help us shift out of the darker emotions and move into a more confident, light and bright, and still very semi-aggressive, very passionate, very intense energy that we can really make work for us. The sun will be trining Mars. So the sun is currently in Sagittarius, a fire energy. The sun is fire. Sagittarius is fire. Mars is fire in Aries. It's place of power, fire. So this could mean for us that our energy is high, especially our, our physical energy where Mars kind of rules over our physical energy. Um, we could be feeling very strong, very confident. We would have the tendency to want to jump in and initiate, to really take action and make things happen. But again, I'm going to caution you to use that energy in a different way because we're about to enter into a new moon cycle and initiating or beginning or starting or, you know, trying to bring anything to life before the cosmos supports it, you're only going to set yourself back. So this would be a great time to, yeah, spend your energy in your mental plane and in your emotional plane to figure out what it is that you want to take action on initiating once the universe supports that. But it's best if you just engage in physical activities that need closure, that need endings, that need completion at this time. Um, we're definitely going to be feeling a lot more confident in the decisions that we've been debating between. And because of this, we can really find ourselves in a good space to finalize some of those decisions. We're not so much on the fence anymore. We've been on the fence, especially since the full moon in Gemini lunar eclipse. But now we're becoming a little bit more solid in our choice points, in the decisions that we have to make and in the paths that are unfolding right before us. And so we are going to feel fired up. We can feel excited. We can feel passionate. We can even feel anger if we're going to allow the energy to take ourselves over like that. But I would prefer with this heads up that you really tap into how that energy can manifest for you. And instead, I would love to see that we use this energy to our advantage. Again, taking action on getting things done and getting things organized and preparing for the next cycle, preparing for when the universe gives us the green light and we can take action on initiating, on beginning, on starting new projects, new paths, new endeavors after the new moon.